So welcome to this video. This is John from Tabletop Narrative. And I am just going to go over, it's a little review on something for Frostgrave. And with Frostgrave, if you haven't played it, it's an awesome game. Uh, give it a chance. And this is really going to be about altering your motives. It was uh, a card set that you could purchase. And basically it would add some different dimensions, um, some like secret objectives, uh, things that you might uh, reveal to just make the game a little bit more interesting, a little bit more fun. When I originally got this, I actually did one of the Nick Starter things and it came with a little bit of train, which I'll show you, um, goes with some of the rules. So the basic rules here that we're gonna have is, uh, as you can see here, and uh, what it does, it kind of changes the treasure a little bit. Uh, so they want you to use five instead of six treasures. Uh, you get a little bit less experience for them. And um, you could go over however you see, you know, mo most games, and I think a lot of people end up house ruling a lot of stuff with Frostgrave. So, you know, it's up to you, but that's some of the rules. The other side of the rules are these, and there's a thing called red herrings. Red herrings, there's, uh, ones that are secrets that you'll have and a lot of times you'll pick three different train pieces with only one of them actually being your objective so the other two are kind of to throw your opponent off a little bit so that gives you a little bit and these are some of the red herrings that you basically get so this is some of the train that like i said that i got with it and they might still sell now so that is the arcane disc uh, there is a gateway, which was that guy there. We have a pit here, which is, there is uh, one of them that I'll show you uses the pit, which is very nasty. And this one here, we have a runic stone. So that would be kind of the runic stone. Then we're going to have a sarcophagus. And so obviously there, sarcophagus, a statue. So this is the statue that came with it. Kind of cool. Uh, a trap door. Obviously there. And it came with a zombie, which I, I don't have. I, I have another zombie that I've gotten from different ones, but I just never painted it, I don't believe. So that's some of the terrain that would be kind of needed to make this work. And then I'll go over some of the cards that we did. So there is basically two types of cards. There's a reveal. So there's ones that are secrets. The secrets will have red herrings. So you'll have a thing like this, place a statue, but you're also gonna place a runic stone and a zombie. So that once again, your opponent can kind of try to decide what you're actually going over. And then things that are reveal is, you know, you'll reveal this once you draw it. And basically, um, it's, you know, an objective that's kind of in play. So I'll go over some of this stuff here that we have. So these are going to be some of the secret ones. So this is Imprisoned in Stone. Um, I'll talk a little bit about these. Maybe if I have some experience with playing certain ones too. So Ancient Ancestor, uh, Construct, Activation. Stone of Power, uh, Dead Recipe, Rogue Homunculus, Rest in Peace, uh, True Reflection, The Drawing Knife, Fate Dial, Haunting, It Shall Be Mine, Draw the Line, the Hunter, Captured Starlight, Circle of Possession, Arcane Geyser, The Money Pit, uh, Last Words, the Last Meal, Written in Stone, Galvanize, Emerald Eyes, Rescue Mission, Ice Storm, The Transporter, and Soul Drain. So um, before I get into the reveals, I'm going to talk about this Soul Drain one because this was a, a crazy one that we had played. So, and 
so what I found with these is we played a couple games, I think, where we drew these and just played them as we saw fit. And it, it some crazy scenarios and stuff came up. And this is one of them that came into place. And so just to kind of go over this one is a trap door was placed. And my opponent, he, uh, he set it next, like right in the center of the thing. It was next to a bunch of treasure and all that type of stuff. And so we ended up just having a big fight. And there's all like almost all of our um, armies and all of our guys were our soldiers were near this trap door. And so when it triggered, you have to basically take a um, make a fight roll and then uh, if it's successful and then every figure on the board now it makes a will check with a target number of 18. And so if you fail it, you move that many inches towards the trapdoor, ignoring all terrain. And if you get into the trapdoor, it's basically you reduce to zero health. So it just sucks you into this thing. And um, so the crazy part was it literally almost killed, it probably killed the majority of our, our war band. So, but it, this is super powerful. It was one of those things where it was a, very cool moment um but if we're gonna play again and again i would maybe remove this because it's it, i mean it wiped almost everything out and uh so which is can be pretty powerful uh, so there are some of these that you maybe want to read over and go through one of the things too that i found is i i think we I, we played a halloween style campaign where there's three specific missions and what I did is used these and I picked five or six of them. And so when, when each player would play on that specific board, they would only pick for these. So I was able to actually use the terrain better and like uh, accommodate the, uh, like the creatures and stuff like that to that specific board. And that was really cool. I think that could be a good way to kind of use these. So these are some of the reveal ones. I'll go over there. So there's Wraith Run, uh, Break the Illusion. Uh, I don't know how to say this, so I'm gonna butcher it, but uh, Ablit, Ablit, uh, I don't know, I'm not quite sure on that one. Uh, Base Raid, Demon in Disguise, the Wayward Child. So this is one that we used on that Halloween style mission. And I remember we had a bridge. And so I had a specific kind of child thing that I made up and we put it on there. So if you drew this, you know, one of your objectives in your secret or your missions would be to try to rescue this child from, uh, it was like in a graveyard and stuff like that. So that was, that was pretty cool. This also combat, I think this is another one that you can draw. So there was like ghouls next to it. And, and so they would come out and fight. So that was another one. Uh, let's see. This one's called Payback. Strike a match. So this was on one that we did. I actually made this specific kind of little shack or an outhouse or whatever you want to call it. Just kind of a little mini building so that you can try to burn it down with this one. Uh, spider Hunt. So I used this to basically... Uh, in one of the missions, once again, for that Halloween themed unit, had a bunch of kind of spiders that would come out and get it. And I used that, uh, spider web stuff that you get for Halloween to make some of the terrain that I had look, uh, like it was infested with spiders. So that was pretty cool. Uh, courier once bitten. So this was a cool one. We had kind of like a demon, uh, you know, hell type board that I played and this was one of them. So, you know, your guy could basically be like a werewolf, um, and then cursed artifacts. So, uh, so I wanted to go over that just because I think that they are fun, but also this will be a little bit more relevant because I plan on doing maybe a little video on those custom missions that I did for that Halloween theme. And I might actually put some up on my website. And so then I could reference back to this video if need be. And uh, so that's about it. I appreciate uh, your time and watching this. If you have any questions or comments or anything, you know, just leave them below. And thank you very much. Have a good night.